Yes, welcome back, everybody. Email time. That means Lou time. I'm walking on. You're welcome. So I see you're not having a T-shirt revolt. You're no, still, not at all. No, you're still in your T-shirt. Still embracing the T-shirt. What do you think about how we started tonight's show? I think I'm going to go into loan sharking. Oh, do you? <laughs> <laughs> you and all the things. Well, it's really something, isn't it? It's really something when taxpayers, good, solid, human beings, residents of the United States of America are so aggravated that they've gone to that extent. I don't know. Yeah. But, you know, things are interesting out there. Read me your email. All right, here we go. From Beverly, 48, in Murfreesboro, North Carolina. Chase offered changing back to 2%, but increased interest from 4.99% to 7.99%. Do you recommend making this change to avoid the minimum payment 5% increase? Wow, did I just hear that right? Did I just hear that Chase is doing something that makes sense? Ah, maybe so, Beverly. You <laughs> listen to me. If you can afford... Afford, if you can afford the payment, the minimum payment of 5%, then absolutely you should make the 5% payment and leave your interest rate at 4.99%. What sense does it do for you to increase your interest rate just to have to pay less each month? However, if you are in trouble, you can't make your payments, you don't know what you're going to do, then of course, Except the 7.99% and only the 2% minimum payment because really 7.99% is still a great interest rate today. And if you get into trouble, all right, you pay 2%. But if you have more money, you have the option to pay more. Just because you have a minimum payment, people, doesn't mean that's all you have to make. You can make anything you want if you can afford it. However, I have to say, Chase, that is the first time in months, in months, I have gotten an email, I've had somebody talk to me about it, where that actually was a great offer. Is it possible that maybe you are getting it? Do they deserve some applause? So, you know, I have to tell you, a while ago, I did a show called Bank Bullies, where I literally focused on Chase. Oh, I smacked them down. However, if this is what Beverly says, Chase, congratulations to you. Because that is a really great offer that you just made, Beverly. So, what are you going to do? That's All right. Great. Shall we? Shall we? We shall. All right, everybody. It's up to you for you to decide what are the right actions for you to take when it comes to your money. I will absolutely stand behind you. I think every single one of you needs to be respected from the financial institutions that you are dealing with. However, I also think you need to respect the financial institutions that you are dealing with. You need to absolutely contact them, talk to them, see what you can resolve on your own. However, if they don't want to listen to you, if they don't respond to you, well, tonight gave you a different way to look at it. So until next Saturday night, there is only one thing that I want you to remember when it comes to your money, and it's this. People first, got that banks? People first, then money, then things. Now you stay safe.